Could Maine's largest city ban employees, even police, from using facial recognition technology? Portland City Council is expected to decide that tonight. Yeah, some city leaders have been saying that they have some privacy and civil rights concerns about this. NECN's Dustin Vludkowski looks at the issue. A lawmaker in Maine's largest city calls it preventing a crisis. I don't want to wait until it becomes more complicated. Monday night, Portland leaders will vote whether or not to ban city employees from using facial recognition technology and data gathered using it. No exceptions, not even for police. I want the people who live in Portland, irrespective of who they are, to be able to walk into City Hall, to be able to engage our uh, police officers, to be able to walk anywhere in Portland uh, and feel safe. If the plan succeeds, Portland would join a small but growing number of cities and towns with bans, including San Francisco and Somerville, Massachusetts. Groups like the ACLU are pushing more places to join them. What's particularly dangerous about the government's use of this technology is that nobody ever asked us, right? Nobody ever said, do you consent to your face being used to track you everywhere you go? Which is what China is doing now. NBC News reports Chinese citizens will soon be tracked and scored for good and bad behavior using tools like facial recognition. We should not follow down the path of an authoritarian state. In the U.S., proponents of the technology like Amazon, which sells it, say it can be used to identify criminals. And the ACLU is, quote, knowingly misusing and misrepresenting it to make headlines. Others say ACLU statements calling facial recognition inaccurate are wrong. For some Portland leaders, the risk still outweighs the reward. I hope I have the fight votes to move it forward, but I'm also working with human beings with different understanding and different emotions. In Portland, Dustin Lukowski, New Center, Maine. So some agencies, such as Customs and Border Patrol, might be using facial recognition technology. According to the Portland Jet Port, uh, no city agencies in Portland are using it yet, as we've said. So meantime, facial recognition is not new here. In some areas, it's already in place. The new real IDs issued right now at the Bureau of Motor Vehicles scan an image and birth certificates, passports, ID pictures. The state stores this information on secured servers not connected to the Internet. Those pictures contain facial recognition technology. In 2012, the Cumberland County Sheriff's Office used the technology to comb through thousands of images of inmates in its database. Sheriff Kevin Joy says in five years, the department was able to use the technology successfully only one time. He says they no longer use it, but he is not opposed to bringing it back if the imaging improves much like into electronic fingerprinting. It does serve its purpose. And our job is to work within the parameters of the Constitution, protect everybody's rights, including the, the criminals, and do our job. And this is one piece of it that I think is important. Until we have protocols and procedures on how the technology should be used, especially by law enforcement, where, who owns the video that's collected, and how that is deployed on the people in line with the Constitutional Bill of Rights, uh, a moratorium is certainly worth considering. So Senator Bellows wants Maine lawmakers to just pause and consider residents' civil liberties before the technology advances to other areas of the state. You can hear more from the Senator and from Sheriff Joyce coming up tonight on New Center, Maine at 11.